Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. You know, I'm here at the Red Brick House, and we have been here. We really started getting heavy on working on the Red Brick House at about this time last year after the football season. Now, we had started um, in, say, September, um, tearing off, or so in the summer, tearing off the kitchen and reframing it up and getting the electrical in. But through the course of that football season, we didn't do that much. We were mainly waiting for the electric company um, to install the meter on the meter base and stuff uh, for so we'd have electricity here. But right after the football season ended, we went crazy on working here. You know, I'm crawling up underneath the house and redoing the floor joists and things there uh, to support it and up in the attic here and um, putting in all of the paneling and stuff. And a lot of the time I'm sitting here working with one hand holding my cell phone camera with the other but now we're going to be doing something a little different i think that'll be cool because i've got these they're called iview denali glasses and these lenses are actually interchangeable you can actually have sunglass ones but in the center of it is actually right there is a camera and it's wi-fi enabled so it can actually go to my phone and you can take video and stuff with it. I did a couple of little videos and things yesterday. What's cool about this is, um, basically you're seeing my point of view. So if I'm cutting boards and things on the table saw, you're seeing me cut the boards on the table saw. You're like, you know, just, we're looking down. Or if I'm crawling up underneath the house and things, you're gonna see the effect of how it is crawling up underneath the house and stuff. And it'll free my hands up that I can do stuff. So today I'm going to do, uh, today's going to be the first time I'm going to really try and use this um, and see what it's like. I'm going to be plastering the walls over here and hooking up the electricity um, for the outlet that's going to be in the fireplace down there and doing a couple things and we're going to see what we see. So hopefully this will kind of take it to another level of what we're doing. I'm, I'm excited as can be to really get going with this. And um, I've already started doing a few things yesterday uh, just to get used to it and things, but we'll see what we see here at the Red Brick House. So now it, it makes you want to have some more projects. Someone's like, you know, crawling under the house and things so you guys can see what it's like. All right, we're going to get to work. There's a gap in here. You'll feel it. I can feel a little bit right there. You'll feel it coming in around there. So we'll go around this with some finished plaster. You could probably do it with... Uh, caulking but I want to do it with the finished plaster so that way it stays consistent color wise and all so we'll go around and take care of those kind of places um, as well while we're plastering up this is a lot of the little details things I need to do is I need to cut like filler strips where the walls aren't square to fill in um, especially you can see where we're touching right here how the brick bows and gets a little bit wider there. So we'll need the big, bigger pieces and things on there. And of course, I'm going to have to finish rewiring this outlet to go in here. But all of this, you know, it's, it'll be nice to get this done here today with the plaster so I can get this cleaned up. And you can see, even though I just wet that down, how quickly that gets absorbed. Now, I've got some places upstairs that we're doing as well. But it's getting better because it's not completely white. So once you wet it, you don't see it change too much color, then it's ready to be plastered. All right. I'll wait about a half hour and I'll come back and I'll put some more water on that. Um, another thing that we're doing here too is I need to go get some more wood. Now, this cabinet here was originally, of course, uh, inset doors and things. Now, what we're trying to do is we're actually making this so that way it can be used as a nightstand. And we can't do the flush mount drawer in there because our drawer slides don't really have enough space to go all the way in. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do because I do have a little bit of a gap here is basically notch all of this and take that out of it so that way this will be able to sit closer to being flush and we'll end up painting that part 
white so it'll blend in a little bit better like the molding um, it's more function than art and the other thing I have to do too is the box that's in here I'm gonna need to get a shallower one uh, to put in place so that way when we put a lid and this is where this becomes art more than anything else we're actually going to get a one by here um, that will cover this so that way you can use that to set your drinks and things like that I'll probably put a little lip on it so that way it things won't fall behind it but you'll be able to open it so that way you can keep stuff in the nightstand itself and when it's not of course being used it's in the cabinet out of the way you have somebody here sleeping at night they can open it up, set their drink and stuff on there, uh, the alarm clock or the cell phone, plug it in and have it being used, uh, charging up, and so on. And because I've got the extra long, the 14-inch ones, it can come out further for the person to use. So trying to think a little bit outside of the box. The thing about a room like this is this room is kind of, it's kind of difficult because of the way it's laid out you've got the window over there you got a door here and a door here and this cabinet there weren't really too many places you could go with the bed and in order for us to get to work out it ended up working out best having it against this wall um, it's only a full-size bed so it is a little small if it is two people but as far as function wise we've got the room functioning about as well as you can for the size of it so I do like it. I think it is a nice guest room um, for people to come in. And that will at least give you a nightstand on that side. So there we have it. That's what we're doing down here. Once we get this other plug, I've got to turn the power off on there so we can get the wire put up into the uh, outlet and tied in. Then we can put this piece back in place. Okay. Now I just need to find my phone so I can... All right, so you've got a taste of what the glasses are like, and I've got my outlet and stuff put in here, and so you don't, you can, if you really look hard, you can look and see where the door opens up for the plug, but it's not real noticeable, and that's at least the effect. Um, the nice thing about this is, is it looks like a flame at least. You do have the plastic back that, that's on there and stuff, but it's okay. Um, we may put a screen on here. The other nice thing is, this can actually put out it's an electric heater so it can actually put out some heat so from where we were before I, I think it's it's not bad and it's probably a lot safer than us having an actual fire in the chimney so we'll go through we'll plaster the rest of this up with the finished plaster um, I'll work on getting my mantelpiece attached and uh, the molding completely uh, put in on there and when we go back to the workshop, we'll make our doors here for our um, openings here. So I think that's pretty cool. So this is what we've been working on here today. I'm going to wet these walls down a little bit more and um, kind of like it.